Okay, so we're gonna start with this one here, um, forming this, yeah. using this dial with um, HBR excess. So um, most people put the wrong product on this one. Um, and I'd like, this is what I was talking about in class, how it's easier for me to hit myself in the face than it is for somebody else to hit me in the face, um, no matter how close they are to me, okay? So that's what we want to think about. So let's just, so that's excess HBR, right? So let's just erase that. So either one of the, of course it's strong acid, right? It's going to look for a base, right? Either one of these is just as good a base, okay? Because they're both hydroxyl groups. So that's going to be the first step is that acid-base deprotonation. So you're effectively making the hydronium ion equivalent there, right? Mm -hmm. So now, right, here, what is this? This is a good leaving group, right? Very stable molecule would be leaving, water, right? So we have two options here, right? We have two different nucleophiles. One here, bromine, which really isn't that great of a nucleophile to begin with, you know? And we have this one over here, oxygen, which is in fact a better nucleophile and is attached to the molecule where the good leaving group is, right? So it would be my first um, guess, you know, my first assumption that the oxygen would be the one attacking, you know? And so to just validate that, right, you would want to make sure there would be a six or a five or six membered ring just to, you know, be very certain about it. And what would we find if we do one, two, three, four, five? Is that right? So if we attack that carbon with that oxygen, we'll make a five membered ring there, right? So what'll happen, in fact, let's just. Attack that. Notice this leaving group isn't going to leave by itself, right? Because we're going to, if we did that, it'd make a primary carbocation. So this has to be a SN2 reaction. Okay. So. There's our leaving group, right? And what's going to happen now? It's going to deprotonate there. And you're going to form that five membered cyclic ether, okay? So you got two things working against you, right? Not only is this oxygen attached to the thing, and it's a five member ring, but it's a better nucleophile than bromine is. Okay? So are there any questions about that?